i förra somras så kom det liksom jättemånga barn och liksom bara sa till mig. Är du kille eller tjej? Är du kille eller tjej? Vad fan säger du till mig, shit? Uh-oh, it would appear, boys and girls, transgender children have their own language. Oh god, oh fuck. Ooh. No, well obviously not. That was just a funny joke. <laughs> funny. Welcome back to the Ablaze channel, boys and girls. Best channel on YouTube, sure, why not? In today's video, we're having a little look on these two transgender kids. Oh, why, how, are they, how are they transgender already? My dear, it looks like they were like born about two weeks ago. We go, we go, go. So apparently nowadays, it's just becoming more and more common for parents just to let their children pick what they want to be. Let's be honest, to ask that question to your child in the first place is probably just very confusing to the kid and sounds like a fun little game. So of course the children pick both. And uh, thank you, Vice. Th they've made a very good video on this. Quickly, before we do get in today's video, it has occurred to me that some of you haven't been getting the videos properly recently. So if you do enjoy this content, make sure to subscribe, mate, and hit the bell button so you're notified as soon as the videos go out, mate. Anyway, see where we all went wrong. Sweden is the most forward thinking country in the world when it comes to questioning gender. The gender neutral pronoun hen is now commonly used by most Swedes and government funded gender neutral kindergartens often spark controversy in the foreign press. Why? 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 Why is this a thing? Sweden out here trying to be all quirky. <laughs> This is not something that should be coming more and more common these days. I really don't understand this whole let your child pick what they want to be. Surely as a kid, you should be giving them the right gender of which they are at birth and let them just be kids and having fun. Not pushing this weird agenda because feminists and other left-wing groups say that this is mandatory. It's really not. It's crazy to me. This is so damaging for kids. And I really am so confused to see how people do not think this is so and actually push these really weird lifestyles onto children. It's just wrong. Stop it! Are more young people defining something other than male and female than ever before? I'm curious to find out what it's like to grow up without the gender binary. Yes, I'm, I'm curious too. Let's see how well this goes down. In Sweden, I'm about to go meet a family who are attempting to bring up their kids free from all gender norms. How are you? No, I can go this is home. Nico. Nico, it's Roman. Let's go bowling. Okay, I'm not saying anything at this point apart from, yeah. <laughs> that really didn't surprise me. <laughs> of course, of course. You know this is going to be a good family when they have the LGBTQ flag in their front garden. Great. Hello. This Hi. is Margareta yeah, and nice this is Nika. Margareta yeah, is my partner's mother. And um, where's your partner? At work. Okay. Yeah, somebody's got to bring home the veggie bacon. What the hell is this? Veggie bacon. I want real bacon. No, none of this fake crap. Yes, somebody has to bring back that veggie bacon, boys. At this point, give it another year or two, and people are just going to identify as not having to work. <laughs> You wait, it's coming. I don't, I don't feel like I should work. It, it suppresses me. I don't want to. I don't want to be tied down to this normal thing called working. So, uh, I identify as a uh, unemployed. Yes. <laughs> Epic. Then everyone's just gonna follow along and just think, what an absolutely great idea. It's just what felt right to me because I'm intersex. Um, I was born with characteristics of both male and female, even though my body didn't develop along more masculine lines until puberty. And so, yeah, my partner is not trans, strictly trans, but we share the same values, that gendering is harmful. Yes. <laughs> Wait, what? Gendering is harmful? Gendering is harmful. How is it har What are you waffling on about? I'm not gonna lie, while watching that first little clip, I, I generally, I was literally passing out. I'm so confused. There's just way too many these days. Mappa. Okay, great. It's not being funny, but that's probably more unhealthy than being reassigned an actual gender at birth. Surely this cannot be healthy for the kids. This is Nico's room. Mika and Nico were both assigned male at birth, but in this family, the sex you were born with does not dictate your gender identity. We don't gender toys, we don't gender right. color. But nobody does that anyway. I'm, I'm so baffled. How do you gender a toy? 
I mean, that's just common sense. Yes, this piece of Lego identifies as female. It's like they can just play with whatever toys they want and yeah. you would never dictate what those toys no. were. No, absolutely okay. not. So they both have a lot of cars and they both have dolls. And what about with clothing? Right now, Mika is for the past two months has worn a dress every day, just about. When Mika's wearing dresses, and because Mika has very, very long hair, most people assume that Mika's female. <laughs> yes, boys, having long hair and wearing a dress and actually being a female, how dare these sexist pigs but they identify her as a fit. Okay, what is this video even? We're three minutes in and I literally have a migraine. I'm so confused. So is she female? Looks pretty female to me, mate. Just imagine him watching this video and just thinking, how dare you? How dare you? Assume my daughter's gender. If someone called Mika female in front of Mika, would you correct them or intervene? No, no, we've never, we've never corrected anybody. In fact, if people call me Kashi, we might go with that too. We use he for them. Sometimes it's mixed and it depends, you know, because in Sweden we have hen, the gender neutral pronoun in Swedish. I think Mika has always said when I've asked, it's been she or hen. Can we please, I, I completely get that this video is about like transgender kids and stuff, but can we just go just one sentence without naming five different genders? It's becoming so difficult to follow along with this video. I'm just so confused, boys and girls. So she is female, but they don't like to correct and choose what she is. But then they also, on the other hand, call her he, represent him as a met, represent her. Sorry, God, I'm getting so confused. As a male, what are you saying? Well, that's just going to confuse the poor little kid, isn't it? I always love these types of videos of them telling us, oh, well, we don't like to push genders onto kids, but we call her he. <laughs> Okay, well, that kind of goes against what you were literally just talking about, doesn't it? No. All right, perfect. We Confused about what pronoun to use, I decided to call Mika and Nico by their names. <laughs> Did you hear? Oh, calling them by their names. Oh, God, no. God forbid. See, the kids are already crying from the thought of you calling them by their names. Oh, my God. How could you? You absolute monster. <laughs> that's, that's strictly forbidden. Nowadays, you must refer to people as him, he or her. God forbid calling kids by their actual names. No, that is a, that, that is a big no-no. That is a grave no-no. True self, my love. I got a boo-boo. Did you get a boo-boo? <laughs> Should I kiss it? <laughs> Blow on it? Blow Okay. <laughs> Why don't I get this kind of a treatment when I stub my toe, huh? I need this in my life. <laughs> Look, in all honesty, coming to the end of this video now, me and I'm sure everybody else completely respect the choices on what adults make for themselves when they're at a suitable age of understanding the whole situation. And maybe someone does identify as the opposite gender for when they grow up. That's completely fine. Nobody has an issue on that. The only thing that everyone always has an issue on is now when they're bringing kids into the mix. When some of these kids in this video aren't even three years old and they're literally confusing them by calling them him, having them wear dresses, then calling them her, then having them have long hair, then calling them him again. This is so damaging for kids, I personally believe, and I'm sure a lot of you will probably agree with me, at least the people with common sense. Thank you. <laughs> but it's honestly just sad to see because these kids don't deserve to be confused like this. Some of the things they say, I agree with, but the things I agree with, nobody does in the first place, like gendering toys. Nobody identifies a toy as female or male, at least not for a very long time. I know back in the day, obviously things were a little bit different. Boys weren't allowed to play with dolls and girls won't play with cars, but things have changed since then, and that's perfectly fine. And I think that little bit of change is actually quite healthy, but actually completely swapping your kid's gender because you asked a three-year-old if she wants to be a boy or a girl, like they know what that is, and they said yes, because that sounds very fun to them. I personally think it's quite wrong. Honestly, really interested to hear what you guys think in the comments down below. Do you agree with me, or am I just completely chatting shit. Let me know your thoughts and comments in the comments down below. And like I said at the beginning of this video, if you enjoy this content, mate, make sure to subscribe. Also hit the bell notification so you know, mate, as soon as videos go live. Perfect. And one last thing, make sure to come and follow me on all my social medias as well, mate. But anyway, boys and girls, I hope you did enjoy today's video and I'll see you all in the next one.